Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the SanDisk Ultra 2 240GB SSD. Now this is going to be a very interesting SSD review. This drive currently costs about 100 to 110 US dollars, which is indeed a very attractive price point for an SSD with a capacity of 240GB, while offering great read and write performance at the same time. SanDisk, by the way, is a very well experienced manufacturer when it comes to flash. SanDisk stands for quality and therefore also backs the solid state drive up with a 3 year warranty. A big thank you to SanDisk for sending me this SSD to review. In the box is the SSD itself, well protected. Also, this drive comes with a 7 to 9.5 mm shim to make it thicker, just in case 7 mm are too slim, and I'm speaking of certain laptops here. It's very kind of sand disk to also include such an adapter. An installation guide of course is also included, as well as a little note that tells you to register the SSD, activate the warranty, and use SanDisk's SSD dashboard, which is a great piece of software that I'll show you a little bit later. First of all, SanDisk sent me the 240GB version of this SSD, but there also are 120, 480, as well as 960GB versions available. The Ultra 2 series is based on 19nm TLC NAND flash memory and comes equipped with the NCache 2.0 technology, a special caching architecture to optimize drive speed and endurance. As always, the SATA 6 gigabit per second interface is used here, which of course is backwards compatible with 3 and 1.5 gigabits per second. We should expect sequential read results of up to 550 megabits per second and up to 500 megabits per second on sequential write. The power consumption, of course, is extremely low, with just 2.7 watts at max on read and 4.5 watts at max on write. This SSD also is extremely lightweight, with 58 grams only. In terms of aesthetics, if that matters, of course, to me it does matter, the Ultra 2 drives look fantastic. The design is kept very minimalistic, that's what I always love seeing, no matter what components I'm looking at. And although many SSD manufacturers use a metal case, SanDisk decided to use textured plastic instead. But when just looking at it, it's hard to make out a difference, and to be honest, it really doesn't make a difference if an SSD case is out of metal or out of plastic. It's what's inside that counts. As you can tell, there's really not that much that can be done here in terms of design on SSDs, but SanDisk cut this part off here from the top where the SATA and power connections are. As you can see, this drive is just 7mm slim, and just in case you'd need a 9.5mm thick 2.5 inch drive, you could use that shim SanDisk also kindly includes. A beautiful drive for sure. SanDisk also has a great piece of software for the drives. I'd really recommend downloading and installing it, because it's a great monitoring tool for beginners as well as for advanced users. The user interface is awesome. But now let's see how well this SSD performs with the last test being a startup test including a cold boot into Windows. Alright, the SanDisk Ultra 2 240GB SSD has really good performance to offer for the price. To make it short, it's pretty much a tie between the Samsung SSD 840 EVO and this SanDisk drive. Sometimes the Samsung is a little bit faster and then in other tests, the SanDisk. But wait, so the performance pretty much is a tie, but the price point is not. 
you can check it yourself. This SanDisk drive actually is cheaper than a comparable Samsung drive. But it's not always about the benchmarks. I've noticed a significant performance improvement over the Samsung 840 EVO when it comes to daily use. First of all, it cold boots into Windows without any fast boot features or anything like that enabled in the BIOS, a tiny little bit faster, and overall startup times of applications compared to the strong Samsung drive are better as well. I'm not saying the Samsung drive is bad or that the SanDisk drive is much better, just overall the feel and startup times are better. Not that you'd necessarily notice it right away, but why pay more money for the same or even a little bit less performance? In my eyes, clearly the SanDisk Ultra 2 is the winner, especially because of its attractive price point of just $100 to $110. Definitely a very good price performance ratio. Now whenever I'll buy another SSD for my personal system, I know I'll go for a SanDisk drive, not only because of the performance, but also because of the design. It fits in very nicely. The SanDisk Ultra 2 240GB SSD really convinced me and therefore I'd definitely recommend this little beast of an SSD. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.